Do you know this guy? Well, probably not. But that's not a problem, okay? I promise. You're, but you're probably thinking like, who is this guy? And why is she showing him on camera? And why, like what on earth has this very old, very dead guy to do with this young woman's phantom egg collection? Well, I will tell you. So before I'm coming to my top five pick, like I promised in my thumbnail, uh, of my most beautiful fanta pens in my collection, I will tell you something about this guy. So this guy is called Vitruv and Vitruv has lived long ago, okay? He's long dead. And so most people think, okay, then he's irrelevant. Why is she, she showing him? Why is she talking about him? Well, to me, he's not irrelevant because guys, in my real life, I'm not a YouTuber, I'm an architect. And um, when I learned about Vitruv, um, I think it was like 11 years ago when I started studying um, architecture in university. And um, so his concepts, um, they didn't blow my mind, but they are making things more easy in my head. So this guy, um, he was an architect, an architect's theorist and an engineer. And he has written about, no, he has written 10 books. At least we know about 10 books about architecture. And in these books, he's describing um, also how good architecture should be and how good architecture um, can be also criticized. So he basically um, determined a few concepts, how you can say if architecture is good and how you can create good architecture. Um, well, if you follow his advice, <laughs> you can guess that, can't you? <laughs> so, um, Today we are actually here to so that I can show you my most beautiful fanta pens and we will do this and first I need to talk about his main concept I think. So um, what he determined as the main categories of um, how good architecture has to be and in my opinion you can also say good products it's basically the same okay uh, it's just a different like size, I guess, um, is this. So, um, I hope you're seeing it the right way. If not, I need to flip the screen afterwards, after, um, in editing. Um, so actually he said that the three main concepts of good architecture has to be equally considered when creating things. So there is Venustas beauty. We're talking about this today. Then if we go further, we have Firmitas, which is solidity. And then as a third concept, we have Utilitas, which is basically usefulness. And bear in mind that these three concepts need to be equally considered. Okay, equally considered. They are not standalones. They are these three concepts are making a good product or a good um, house, actually. So this video will actually be the first of four videos that I'm making in this mini series within the mini series thingy. <laughs> and I will do this video right now about beauty and then I'm doing two videos about the other two um, categories on like this wheel and on the fourth video I will choose my top five fountain pens out of my collection um, which I think um, are filling or like um, are having this concept of these three categories best implemented so that when criticizing them they are the best out of the best okay so 
yeah. <laughs> but now, finally, we will start with my top five pick and one honorable mention. <laughs> okay, so my I'm starting with my honor, honorable mention because why not? I'm going from uh, down the list to up the list for to my most beautiful pen. So we're starting at the bottom with my honorable mention. And I just couldn't put this out of the list because, man, it's so good. But it's not directly on the list because there's a reason. Okay, so my honorable mention is my Caveco Sport in a natural coconut. It's um, a regular edition. I also have the Iridescent Pearl, by, but I actually like this a bit more. Also, since I got a grind of course, which is also very beautiful in my mind, <laughs> from um, Annabelle Hiller. There it was. And um, so the nib is the normal Caveco nib, so nothing special there trying to show you doesn't work as good. Well, it's a normal Caveco nib, it's not the premium nib or something but it has a beautiful grind on it, okay? And that is also something that I find really beautiful, the grind or how the nib writes, actually. Um, and the reason why it actually didn't really make the top five is actually that when it's inked up, um, quite some spreads is happening. So the ink that is in the pen on the nib or on the feet um, sometimes or often uh, gets into the cap and I don't know if you can see it but there's a little ring here that you can see from old ink and I really dislike that I really dislike that so I would rather have a pen that doesn't have this and that's also the reason why I'm not inking it up as much because I don't like the look of this so yeah but it's a beautifully writing pen. It's beautiful in its how it sounds. Like, I just like that. I like that over the aluminum, aluminum body version that I have. The sound. And then it just looks beautiful. I mean, the, the proportions, it's nice. It sits good in my hand. It feels good, okay? Um, yeah, overall, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pen, okay? So, to my number five on this list, um, a very beautiful pen that I have had some trouble with getting and that I went to some length <laughs> for getting it, okay? If you have seen my uh, new pen day uh, video, you've seen this already, but this is actually the sorry oh, something's in the air today <laughs> so allergies or so um this is the platinum century 3776 and this is a limited edition in the from stationary station in japan and this has a matte finish and you can see the nib shining through a bit i love this and the grip section is smooth, so this is polished, and the rest of the body is is um, n not polished. It's like, um, smooth, like it's how do you say? <laughs> it's not smooth. It's not polished. Okay, it's how did it, how did I say it before? Well, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean. I hope. Um, so yeah, but I think this is a beautiful pen, and I just love this color. I mean, it's just a beautiful color. I love that you just can get a glimpse of the nib from looking through the through the cap. And I think the proportions, it's really nice. The only downside that I'm seeing re in regards to beauty is actually the sound. Um, it's not bad, but I don't know if you can hear it. I think the plastic feels more cheap than other pens I have, for sure. I mean, they're all plastic, okay? There are not much pens 
that I have that are out of uh, metals and then out of wood I think I don't even know I have one I think but yeah so um, the plastic is just different and I dislike the sound and the feeling that it's, it's just feeling a bit more plasticky and not as much like resin um, even if it's the same but yes so my number four my number four is a very special pen as well that I went on a hunt to get as well. Oh my gosh, that's like a, yeah, um, that's a second pen, no? And I think, yeah, the others are also very special to me. They're all spe special to me, okay? If they wouldn't be special to me, I wouldn't own them. <laughs> it's easy like that. So the third pen has the be most beautiful resin that... Oh my gosh, okay. So this is a resin by Jonathan Brooks. Uh, I think from the Carolina Pen Company. And um, this blank was originally made um, in collaboration with um, the big YouTuber. Oh my gosh, guys, my brain. Oh my gosh, I cannot remember. Bigfoot on pens. There he is. Yes, that was the name. And um, he had a, a Leonardo pen, a Momento Zero, uh, with this blank um, made for him, with him. So Jonathan Brooks, uh, Bigfoot on pens, thick boot. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> I will put him down below. You probably know him anyway, so why am I even like bothering? But yeah, um, and Leonardo, uh, Officina Italiana. So um, yeah, this blank is just, it's so gorgeous. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's just so perfect. Uh, it has some very dark, brownish grays in there and then some like dark dark blue and then that some like um tealish color it's really beautiful really really beautiful the only thing and i will say this out loud is what i don't like um in regards to beautiful is this band with this logo I don't know if you know this, the written out Leonardo. I'm just not a fan of that. But I have the La Finis nib on it. My baby, hopefully you can, nope. I'm trying, but not working, not working. But it's basically the one with the stripes on it and it it's beautiful. I just love it. I just absolutely adore it and yes it's a piston filler I would have liked it more I guess with a cartridge converter but yeah it's still a nice ink window and honestly it's yeah it's great it's just great so my number three pick getting to uh, Japan again and probably most of the people have this on their list um, when if they own it. It's the <laughs> Sailor Pro Gear uh, Slim in Manio Nuts. And this has this really nice like, finial. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And I don't know why. I think this color combination, it's kind of odd, but... Yeah, it's it's just so beautiful. And I think a lot of people think that this is beautiful. I'm one of them. I'm definitely one of them. <laughs> and actually also the nuts theme. Um, I, I have a different sailor as well in the normal size, but uh, I, I don't dislike the sailor finial, the normal one, but I actually like it more if there is a special one on there. That's just my preference. That's just my taste in nuts. I mean, it's called nuts. Guys, I love nuts. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I just love them. 
I'm eating so many of them. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. It's just fitted, okay? It's an odd color combination, I feel. And somehow I feel it's so beautiful. It's so, so, so beautiful. And then it's, it has a beautiful name. And yeah, yeah. It's just, oh, it's so gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Gor oh my gosh, my tongue. Okay, I cannot talk anymore. I need something to drink. Okay, now, number two on this list. Number two is a Bindu pen. And I think not as many people are owning this particular, this particular one or think this is the most beautiful pen from Bindu, but I think this is the most beautiful pen that Bindu produced, okay? Um, hear me out, hear me out. It's not as flashy as the other ones. I know, I definitely know. But the name is jazz and it's blue <laughs> okay i think i haven't told you as much about me personally but um another glimpse in my life besides i'm an architect and besides i love nuts <laughs> is actually i love jazz <laughs> and i am quite a mus musical mu mu music Music is in my blood, okay? Let's say it like this. I was on a high school that was uh, fo like where I focused on music. So it was a, there are science high schools here and then there are like whatever high schools. And I was on a music high school, you know? And I even did my um, last course, last big project in music. So uh, yeah, I love music and I, in particular, I love jazz. And so this pen, um, yeah, just give, gives me goosebumps because I have to think about music and how much mu uh, music I have made in my life. And it made, it makes me think about my dad because he loves music and he's also a mus musician and um, he loves jazz and he gave me basically the love for jazz. So, yeah. It's called jazz and it's blue. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's easy for me. Very easy. Um, I also do not dislike the black um, center band and grip section. I actually like it. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just fits this pen, I think. And I'm not like, I don't love the Schmidt nib uh, like stamp. How do you say the, um, um, it's not engraved, it's like, well, the ornaments on the nib, let's say it like this. I don't um, dislike it, I don't love it, I don't like it, I don't think it's beautiful, but it's the bigger nib and so it's definitely the, compared to my Benu Bri Briolette in Storm, um, it's definitely more beautiful, I think. I don't know why, um, but yeah, and the sound, and it feels so good, it feels so beautifully, like in my hands, it's such, it has such a warm touch uh, to it, and it's, yeah, it's a great resin, it's just, it's just amazing, and what I also find beautiful is that this just works, <laughs> okay, you can, you can play with this, and you can put it on something and everything, so yeah, it's a big pen, I actually also find this beautiful and the facets make it more in interesting for me um, than just uh, a round, yeah, a round pen, I think, with this material. I don't know why, but um, yeah, I think you can really see a lot of depth in this material. So last but not least, okay, last but not least, my number one to pick and I didn't ever think that a pelican would be my number one pick on a list about the most beautiful fan pens because when I started in my hobby, I actually didn't like pelicans from its look. <laughs> yeah, but um, I'm just honest to you and this is my journey in my hobby. And I'm sharing this with you, so you will also know my personal tastes. 
Um, what I don't like about pelicans, um, like the traditional ones, especially with the normal like green stripes and gold, I don't know, it, it just feels old. It doesn't feel like it's something for the future. It's, it's, it's very vintage looking. And I don't like the, this particular color green. I'm very particular about greens. And so this pelican that I'm showing you is blue. <laughs> Guys, did you think on this list will be more than one pen that is not blue? <laughs> well, I actually in the beginning thought it will be a blue list, okay? Completely from top to bottom, but it's not. And that's totally okay because sometimes I also need some variation, but yeah. Um, this pen in particular is the M805 in Blue Dunes. And oh my gosh, it's on camera, it's not looking as good as it is in real life. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. It has some depth that you wouldn't think, you just wouldn't think. And, um, I love it that there is no ink window, but it's an old like it's an old version. So if you hold it against the light, you actually can definitely see how much ink is left. So um well right now not as much. <laughs> yeah, it's quite full right now, so um I can not see a lot of light <laughs> through this. And the and the nib, uh, same issue again. Let's try it with Betruf in the in the front. Maybe no, yeah, maybe a bit. The nib. This is only the silver nib without the gold part. So there is the the spy color nib. It's also really really beautiful, and I love it on the gold trim uh, versions, but on this version in particular, I love the silver, plain silver nib more. And I also like the swirls um, a lot. It's just, it's just, ah, it's just a gorgeous pen. And with this pen in particular, like with the Benu actually, I also do not mind that the um, um, twisting knob, piston knob and the grip section, uh, as well as the threads, are black. I think the pen is dark enough and ho also has these dark um, black lines in there from the, like the blue tunes um, shadows or however you would um, describe them that um, it complements each other really 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 well. So yeah, I love this pen. This pen also writes beautiful. Um, yeah, it's just it's just beautiful from top to bottom. And if you have never hold um, in your hand an M800, it's e like maybe you have held an M600. An M600 is way lighter in your hand, but this is also so comfortable. Like, yeah, I'm so surprised about this pen. And uh, when I saw it on the Munich Pen Show, I was like, this is so beautiful. I need this. <laughs> so uh, basically, I think from all the M800s and M805s that Pelican has ever produced, in my personal opinion, <laughs> this one is the most beautiful and it's also the most beautiful Pelican in my collection. I know I all, I mean, um, if you've seen some videos of mine, you probably also have seen my other Pelicans. I have an M605 in dark blue, which is also really, really um, beautiful, but this one is more beautiful. Um, and then I have an M400NN, um, which is a vintage model and has some tortoise, tortoise shell uh, stripes, which is so beautiful, but um, yeah, I don't know. This made the list, the others didn't. <laughs> so uh, thank you for watching so, so long, <laughs> half an hour or so. Um, 
definitely stay tuned for the other episodes that will come in this mini series. And if you are interested in more top five videos, uh, I recommend I recommend. I recommend you watching now my top five pens for work. I'm wherever putting it on the screen so that you just can click on it if you would like to. And uh, yeah, I'm planning to do new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, but I have decided that every like Saturday is a must for me to, to post and every Wednesday is optional so uh, we will see each other definitely every Saturday and the occasional Wednesday or the sometimes the eventual <laughs> whatever you want to call it um, Wednesday. So thank you for sharing my rabbit hole with me. Thank you for being here and have a great day. Please tell me in the comments also what are your most beautiful pens? What are your most beautiful yeah just tell me, okay? Please. I'm interested. See you down there.